Hey there, YouTubian. CJ Holmes here. Alrighty then. Well, the weekend has begun and it's time for another part in the Titanic Rick build. Uh, as you can see, I have finished with the uh, boat deck and the second class entrance. I finally got the elevator shaft the way I want it. I've also added uh, lifeboat number 16 aft davit installed. It's collapsed, fallen backwards. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cement this to the deck. And then we're going to start on the port side. Uh, hull. Now, I'm not sure exactly where my cement's going to fall, so. I think we're going to start here. And... in place for a bit. You may have noticed that I've cut off the uh, decking, the collapsed decking that's draped over the reciprocating engines. I'm going to make those separate pieces because they really need to be more draped and uh, shaped. So I just, I wasn't real happy with uh, the decking as it stood, so... It's no big deal. It's going to be easy enough to uh, fabricate, I think. All right, just taking a look around to see that everything looks like it's in place. And it does look pretty good. There's the view from above. See, I've got a lot, way too much uh, red, red primer. So I'm just going to spray a tad of uh, Krylon Camouflage Brown. I've got the fan going here. Just a brief, very light coating. Good. So that makes me feel happier. These are the colors I'm uh, using right now for the preliminary coats. Uh, this camouflage brown 4292 from Krylon and some Rust-Oleum Flat Red Primer. Okay. And some cheapy Rattle Can Flat Black. Quick color. And I have some Rust-Oleum Flat Gray primer. Um, use whatever uh, you want. You can use a, enamels and brush or acrylics or whatever you want to use, but this is what I'm what I'm doing. It's coming along. It's starting to look like the stern section. So now we're going to turn our attention away from the starboard side and go over to the port side <coughs> and much as I hate to uh, I'm going to cannibalize this stern section here and I'm going to cut off all of this 
my original intent, and I've done it before on previous models, was to uh, fabricate uh, just out of uh, flat plastic the uh, hull section here, just a flat piece piece of plastic, and then run um, the plating along it. However, I'm going to attempt to cut this out from my existing model. I'm going to thin it to get just take as much of the plastic from the back side off as I can and then very carefully heat it to form it into the collapsed shape that it is a la this illustration here. Okay, and an even better illustration, in my opinion, is Ken Marshall's beautiful painting. All right, so going aft. That's the whole section that I'm going to be working with. Right there, what a beautiful painting. Ken, you rock. Amazing artist. Beautiful. And I took this illustration from his uh, book, Ken Marshall's Art of Titanic. <clears throat> I don't know if it's in print, but it's it's readily available on eBay and the other online stores. All right, cool. So let's attempt to utilize what we have. We're going to be opening uh, the hatch doors. Okay, we're going to be opening here, here, and here. There's also going to be an open hatch. I don't know if it's a drain hatch or what, somewhere around here. We're going to try to retain a bit of the... Uh, what is this called? The keel... I forgot what you call it. What is that called, people? I'm going to look up on my uh, thing here and see what uh, it says. Rudder halves and no, parts F and L or something. What is this? Anyway, you guys know what it is. Uh, my uh, memory slips me sometimes. Bottom line, let's start uh, cutting, and uh, I'm going to use, I think, a larger saw. I could use uh, my Dremel tool and the saw blade, but that's loud, and I don't have the editing uh, capabilities yet to mute that sound. So hopefully this isn't too irritating. that section now let's uh, let's cut about right here it's amazing how this huge tremendous uh, section of hull plating although it's it's still basically intact it, it's just you can tell that it is just broken away from the braces and just it's just collapse it's just laying there folded over collapse what tremendous weight crashed down uh, at the bottom of the sea it, it, by the same token it's amazing that anything remains of the ship progress am I making? Yeah, I'm making some progress. All right, so I'm going to continue cutting along here. I'll pause it so you don't have to uh, deal with all that noise. Be right back. Awesome. I probably should have just uh, stuck around because that didn't take long at all. All right, so I've taken <coughs> this section off. 
Now, of course, I'm gonna <coughs> pardon me. Of course, I'm gonna keep this section for uh, another future build. And I'm sure I'll make the uh, propeller wings are in good shape. So cool. So this is uh, going to the scrap pile to be used later. They sat over there. So now this is what I have. As uh, you can see, uh, it's very thick. If it were to scale, this probably would be uh, about two feet thick. Yeah, the plating wasn't two feet thick was an inch to an inch and a half and maybe doubled over in places to uh, two to three inches thick. If it were uh, two scale, it would probably be closer to aluminum foil. All right, so what do I have to do? I do want to mark a couple of places. So this is going... Um, Let's see, what do I want to, what do I want to show you? I want to show you windows. Let's go to the illustration again. Turning pages, turning pages. There. All right. So what am I looking at? this here and we'll do some comparison shopping all right you've got these two doors which are here okay and after those Ken shows one two three four five six seven eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. And then forward of the doors are these windows right there. You have these hatches, doorways here. And, um, you have this door here and <clears throat> one, two, three, one, two, three overlapping plates and there's going to be the hatch here. Going down a bit. You can see the, uh, what is that called? It bothers me now. Stand by one. I got to get the answer. Well, I, t I tell you what, I'm at a loss for the name. Please, somebody in the comments, tell me what that silly, uh, I want to say keel hull, the Illudium Cure 38 Explosive Space Modulator section. I don't remember. Anyway. Mm, wasted far too much time with that. Let's get back to this with the thing that's uh, on it. All right, so um, how am I going to thin it? Since it's primarily um, flat... I think I'm going to attempt to do it on the ground, uh, the, the, uh, this, I'll show you, there you go, that beautiful thing right there, okay, that has boxes on it, anyway, back to here, okay, so we're going to play with this. All right, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start sanding. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I'm back with uh, the somewhat thinned hull section. I want to mark it again. One, two, three. I'm going to have that 
uh, this is going to be cut off about here. Um, got a section here that's going to be cut off. And for the most part, this is going to be bent forward. All right. Let me try some very judicious heating. I really don't want to do serious damage to this. I just want it pliable. I'm going to put you on pause because I'm not going to burn my hands. So I'm going to put some gloves on. Stand by. All right, so I just realized that I've been doing about 15 minutes of work um, <laughs> not being recorded. So anyway, I'm still doing more bending, but you can, you can see what I've achieved so far. All right. Last year, I believe it was, it may have been last year, uh, I live in the high desert and there there was a storm that came by, a really, really nice, severe thunderstorm. And um, I started following, even though I'm in the high desert of Southern California and we rarely get tornadoes, <coughs> I was following <coughs> what looked like a wall cloud. Uh, one of my dreams is to um, chase tornadoes during the... Uh, uh, tornado season in uh, Oklahoma or Kansas or whatever. So anyway, I'm I'm looking at what I'm thinking is uh, is a wall cloud. So I start chasing and I come around a hill, and sure enough, there is um, a full cloud to ground, funnel cloud, tornado, land spout, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, it was uh, thin, dark, magnificent. I whip out uh, the camera, you know, my cell phone camera, and start filming. And about seven or eight minutes into it, the camera, the camera stops. I'm like, what the heck happened? Did my battery run out? No, I had good battery. Well, bottom line is, I thought I had pressed the record button but uh, it like has to be pressed twice and uh, bottom line is I missed it and I was almost in tears just absolutely crushed so yeah that was that was not pleasant I uh I would, I would consider myself a, a fairly uh, serious researcher of the JFK assassination. And uh, one of the photographers who was in the uh, school book depository during the assassination was filming from the fourth floor of the depository. And... Uh, Unfortunately, she didn't really know how to use the camera, and uh, her film was jumbled and just a mess. Her name was Elsie Dorman. Poor thing. So whenever I do a photographic mess up, I always tell myself, way to go, Elsie. That is going to work. Um, this actually needs to be turned up. I've got some magnificent cracking going along there. I like it. Turning this up. Turning this down.
shaping. Cool, that's, I think, the look that I'm trying to achieve. Now, let's get the book out of the way. Bring the model in, turn this off for now. off and see the condition of the windows looking good so far awesome So this is what I'm looking at. Now, obviously this is too long. So let me uh, mark about where I want it to uh, go. Let me look. So what we have, if this is going to go about right here, I'm going to cut at some angles there. what we're uh, that's what we're going with so I'm going to just take some uh, cutters here and just start crunching away good there's some good hole plating to uh, save I'm gonna cut this way let me take my gloves off now that I'm not in extreme danger of burning myself. Uh, let me go this way. Score it a little bit there. Ooh, look at that cool crack. I like it. All right. That's what I'm looking for. Just like that. All right. Let's do the same thing here. See how that... Oh, magnificent. Okay, that's going to be raised up just slightly. Check it out. Now, um, these windows here, Okay, we got to get rid of these windows. So uh, let's cut them out. Save all my scrap pieces because that's going to be part of the debris field. And uh, let me look at my illustration.
just cross-checking things here. Um, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to lost my it, it amazes me I don't know in the last mi video but uh, these little uh, protective covers over the second class entrance uh, in the crash they uh, they stayed in place got to glue them back on them he didn't survive my crash but I'm a lot more rough than the and the ocean. Right. Now, what I'm wanting to do is get this to extend over more. Of course, I got it on the wrong side. Yeah, see, this needs to uh, be extended out. And it allows the bend to be closer to what I consider reality. Alright, so put blue. Okay, so that's looking good. See how that's extended now. So that this section will end up underneath it like that. All right, I'm going to eliminate. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the windows. is about to break off it did but you know what that's fine Let me glue that and attach it throw a little baking soda to reinforce it on the inside that again sweet all right cool and now where was I oh I was uh, cutting these windows Alright, so I'm taking them off to, to that line. I may uh, retain them and have them caved in here. I'm going to go ahead and do that because uh, I don't know that the illustrations show that well. Any photographs, but I can always change it as I research more. Okay, good. Okay, I accomplished one very important thing. I managed to glue my fingers together. All right, that's cool. I'm going to reinforce it with liberal application of glue and some baking soda. Tell you what, 
I'm really happy with that. That looks really good. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, we're already at 30 minutes. Um, what uh, what would I possibly want to do before I shut shut you off here? Let's go ahead and up to here. Apply the uh, the uh, thing. First person that uh, tells me what it is, I'll uh, I'll be very appreciative. Is what I'll be. Uh, which way does it go now? Okay, it's going to go that way. There's the. Is that where it goes? I've got a locating pin. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. The Keel Turbo Encabulator. That's 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 what it is. But mm, wrong name or not, it's in place, and uh, I think that uh, that section of hull is going to look really nice so the next video will uh knock out the uh doors we will install the open doors uh, the ones that are there we'll also do some uh detail work on uh, some breakage here but bottom line is we now have a formed port side hull section that will very soon be glued in place and we're going to be getting really close to uh, the major uh, structure of this and then we can go on to details. All right, thanks for bearing with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.